Hi, and uh, today we're going to be uh, creating a Make Money for Christmas uh, page. Uh, we're going to be using four accounts and um, either your own Gmail or you will want to create a Gmail. Now there's a couple reasons why you would want to create a Gmail and um, I'm going to show you what they are. When you create a Gmail, if you actually go over to um, the uh, right hand top corner where the avatar is and these dots right here and click in these dots if you're, you're uh, signed into your Google account you will find that all of these apps that are in here are all under that one Gmail um, address. So, for instance, my Gmail address is uh, rlckg2018 at gmail.com. Everything that's here, uh, my YouTube, my Gmail, my Maps, my Drive, my Google+, Plus, my Google photo, uh, Photos, the Blogger, if you use Hangouts um, and other uh, different apps and tools, they're all under the same Gmail address. And that's why I would say, you know, it would be a good idea to create a new Gmail address. And um, how to do that is to actually open up your Gmail that you already have and go up to your avatar click on your avatar and right down in the box that opens up the left hand corner it'll say add account so you would just click on that now as you can see I have a number of uh, different accounts that, that I've already added but just to show you I am just going to say you use another account then it's going to give me an option here of um, putting in the account address or actually this little part down here more to the left hand is um, create an account and this is the one that I would click on so just click on that okay okay and you would just fill in your information here, your name, your first, your last name, the username, and this will be your new Gmail account, this one right here. Okay, like for instance, say I wanted to use, um, well, first of all, I'm just going to put my name in. Okay, and as you can tell, this is this here has come up. This is what they've come up with, but I don't want that. So I'm going to take that out, and, and I'm going to make my own uh, Gmail account. So let's see. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to call it. CJ Affiliates two thousand and eighteen and see if, if that's taken if or if it's available and I'm just gonna click under there and go into my password and it says it's available so I can use that and then where it says password here I'm just going to type in a password and you just type in a password confirm your password and then click your next right there okay 
So if this comes up with red right there, it tells me the username is already taken. So I was going to put an S there and see if that one is taken as well. Nope, that one ha has gone through. And then this is where you would put your uh, telephone number in, in here. And you have to make sure that it is the right one because they will be calling your phone. Sending you a code, which I just got. And then you um, will take your code. And it'll start with a G. Okay, and you just verify that. Okay, now it's going to ask you some more questions, and you just answer these questions. Um, like, for instance, your recovery um, email, it would be good to put an email in there that you have access to. Don't put an old email in there you won't be able to get. And always put your right date of birth because this is what they keep uh, for their records and they check that I get if you ever lose track of your account and I'll just ask you some more questions here and then once you answer them and agree to the privacy and terms, you can read that as well. Just give this a name. doesn't get lost in my okay now as you can see here we go. we're loading up to gmail So there's my Gmail and here's the dots here that I told you about where the other apps would be and why it was important that you actually made a new Gmail rather than um, just using the Gmail that you already had unless you want to use that Gmail. Okay, so while that's opening up, um, we're going to go to Facebook. So just go to Facebook, click into your Facebook, it should automatically come up, and over to to your uh, top right, there's an arrow pointing down. Click on this arrow, go down the box, and then you'll see create page. 
click on create page. Okay, now um, we're going to do this fairly quickly. I'm not going to go through everything because um, I just want to get help you to get this page up and running so that you'll be able to uh, show your uh, products on which you will be getting after you either uh, sign up for an Amazon account or you already have an Amazon account but just stay with me and um, I'm going to get to that but right now I just want to go into the get started now I'm not going to go all through this okay I need you to fill out this information your page name and um, I'm actually going to open another Facebook just to show you that I, I, I've already uh, done that I've already created a page and um, I already um, have what I need on my page. It's right, right there. I'm just going to click into it. Okay, so I've already created this page. This um, it doesn't take long. Uh, it's um, fairly simple to do, and I'm going to show you uh, step by step how to do it. Okay, so going back into your Facebook, I need you to fill out this information for the page name, the category uh, that it's under, and um, I would actually put it under like local business is is actually the best one to find there and then create your page and then once you're uh, you hit continue then um, go on to the other information that uh, you need to fill out and then go into um, actually creating your um, or making your profile picture and you know basically all I did for that was um, downloaded a picture that I already had from um, from my computer there are there's two ways that you can do the picture you can actually go to a place called um, canva dot CA, C A N V A, oh, sorry, dot com, not C A, dot com, and either uh, sign up there or if you're a member, just log in. And, and as you can see here, you have different options. This is a Facebook cover. If uh, you want to just do a quick Facebook cover and that's what I did just click into there and you'll see some layouts come up here You can choose one of these. Or no, I'm just going to choose something that looks a little bit best up here. So, this is the one that I've I've chosen, and these words here. I'm just going to have a look at the text. I'm going to see what um, type of fields I have here that I can actually get rid of. Okay. When you click it into the where the words are, you can see whether it is something you can work with. If it is, then you can just 
I'll delete these words that are here by deleting an element. And also I want to delete this as well. This is just an example of what you can do. And just add a heading and, you know, basically it's making money. Oops, sorry. Making uh, money for Christmas. And this is just an example of the one that I'm doing. Okay, you can uh, say whatever you want to say on yours, but you know, pretty much just to the point and um, not that much more and no, just something just something simple that you can you can do quite quickly okay I'm going to show you uh, three ways um, for, this is the first way you can download this it'll come down in the PN, PNG which is recommended download it actually to your um, to your desktop See, it's saving under the uh, happy birthday ping, so I just want to show in the, the folder where it is, and I just want to change the name, because otherwise I won't be able to find it, so I'm just going to put There we go. I just changed the name there. And it's in my downloads and I'm just gonna send it to my um my desktop. My desktop now. So now I know where it is, okay? That's the first way. Now the second way is to actually Find out what the dimensions are for the, your um, Facebook cover, and an easy way to do that is to actually just go to Google. Into a new tab, and just type in um, Facebook cover size. Uh, it should come up with that the information. Okay, so it's 850 pixels wide by 315 pixels tall for a desktop. 640 pixels wide by 360 pixels tall for a mobile. So let's go with the 851 and 315, and we're going to go back over to our Canva design into right back into create a design right here at the top left you're going to see use custom dimensions and this is where we're going to put in our dimensions 851 by 315 and that sounds like it might be off no it is 851 by 315 okay so now we've uh, now we put in our dimensions and this is our design so now we're going to click that and you should see this little round uh, wheel with spots coming up okay so now this will actually give you a layout that you can use so this is what you can now use instead of uh, picking out a picture that's already there. You can just say I wanted to click on this one and then I go into my elements and then I look in here and I'd see um, 
um, what I wanted to use and what I wanted to use is um, actually background so I wanted to just I guess pick up a green so now I just clicked in the green clicked on the plus clicked on the green there's my green there this is what I want it's my green should come up on my wheel here So that little box up to on the top left, whoops, sorry, just, just click on, that's my green, so that's my green background. And then, um, now this is just doing something really quickly. So then I go into my text, I go add a heading, and I put my heading I, I have done a whole tutorial on this, so I'm just going a little quicker. I put my heading in here. Um, it, I take a, a subheading, and I put a subheading just underneath here. Um, and then from there, I would just quickly go back into my elements, into my photos, and there you have an option option of uploading your own uh, photo, but you do have to be careful because when you are uploading um, your own photo, it has to be in a special format, otherwise it, it won't load. It has to be in the, the PNG format. So say I wanted to, um, I wanted to look at something for Christmas, just to be quick, and that's what I did before. And, you know, just something simple that you can move around um, on here, and it's it's whatever you like to do for your actual Facebook cover, okay? And then when you think that uh, you're done, then you just click the uh, download, which is right here in the, in the middle. Click download, you'll then see file type come up, and the PNG is recommended. So download that. Now this is a Facebook cover very quickly, without spending a lot of time on it, because we actually don't have a lot of time. We're already into December, and um, if, if you actually do want to be able to make money before Christmas, then um, this has to be completed. So now what I'm doing is I'm showing it, I want to show it inside my folder so that I don't lose it, and I'm going to rename it again. And um, I'm just going to name it uh, It's a good idea if you um, get in the habit You can see that I've missed the C there It's a good idea that you get in the habit of of actually uh, giving your files names that you can read and also if something were to happen um, to the actual image that the person would still be able to read the um, the name and know what that image was about so I'm going to send that to my uh, desktop as well so now I've just now taken those two things and sat my desktop. Okay, so that's the uh, second way. The third way is going into your Windows accessories. And um, 
opening up your windows accessories to paint opening up your paint going to this section here where it says resize clicking on the pixels and making sure that your horizontal is 851 and your vertical is 315 and this box should not be checked because this does something different okay so now this is now going to give you the size of your cover that you need for Facebook so um, in order to do something quickly the first thing that I, I would do would be to put text in it's always good to put your text in first otherwise it can be more confusing so I'm just doing the title here Saying making money before Christmas. Okay, so you can change the uh, font here by using something else here. Whatever you want to use, make sure that it's highlighted and then look up the font that you want to use and then uh, just click on that and that will change your font you can uh, bold it you can underline it sorry you can underline it or put it in um, it, um, italics okay but you know basically this is this is your text that you're using okay now the best way to to work with text is to um, get your text done the first thing because it's so easy to get confused with that okay um, and my first color I'm just going to be using for the background here is the green now, of course it would give me this these other um, spots here which I could either uh, fill in with another color or go with the actual green again I can't seem to find it there we go okay, so then I would fill this in but that's you know there you go <laughs> made that disappear okay okay and um, you could get a uh, picture from your um, actual computer and um, say I just want to add this one I've already made this one and of course make sure that it's sized to how you want it where you want it I guess I could put it there this is just as an example you can do whatever you need to do put as many pictures in um, that you want say I wanted to have another picture I'm just gonna um, show you briefly something here there there is two things that you actually can do when you're um, when you're creating this there's actually a few things okay so I wanted to bring this down okay um, and the two main things that I wanted to show you here is you can resize it through here okay because this is a, the actual size right here or you can make it rotate if you want it to rotate right if you just keep going right or if you wanted to flip it horizontal or whatever you wanted to do now this is crop 
crop can be used with your uh, rectangle. It could also be used for a uh, free form. Um, those are the two main ones that I look at is either using it for uh, free form or And I believe that it needs to be, um, I need to invert it because I believe that um, it will end up cropping out. Yes, there we go. You see, it did the uh, opposite to what I wanted it to do. So you have to be careful that you don't invert it. I'm not an expert with when it comes to this, so that's why I, do, I don't want to play with this very much. But basically, you can download your pictures, paste from your computer um, or any other uh, pictures that you need. And um, I'm just going to download this one really quickly again, just to show you. And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller, just to just to, sh to give you an idea of what, what you can do. As long as you keep the size here, it's important you keep the size here. So just click out of there. I would just click into something else to begin with. And um, then click back. into the home, into there. And then uh, when it shows you that symbol right there, if you click right there, it should show you the uh, size here. It should be the 851 by 315. Just make sure that you keep that because that's your cover to your Facebook. So that just being quickly done. Um, going back over to uh, your Facebook, Whereas I already um, created mine, okay. You just go into click right here where it says uh, add cover. Yours will probably say add cover. Click in there, and then upload photo or if you made a small video, okay. And you do the same with um, this one here. Okay, now going through the motions here, I just wanted to uh, show you something very quickly. We go into the settings. Now I've already put some information in here, uh, but it is going to um, ask you information about your page. And it's a good idea that you specify, you put in um, your description here, your categories, if the page has a phone number or an address, and other different information. Like I would definitely fill this information out because this is uh, important to do. So I would definitely fill that information out. Okay, so getting back to the page, this is now done. You have two, you you would have already accomplished two things. You would have um, either created a Gmail or already have a Gmail, and now created a, a new Facebook page that is going to display the uh, products from the two companies that you're either part of or you're going to join. Okay, so that being done, the next thing that we would do is um, I would close these if you still have your Canva open. Just close that because it just makes everything uh, run slower.
Okay, so now the next thing that we do is we um, go over to, to Amazon. And I've already got an account, so I'm just going to just type in, go to Amazon.com. And I've already got an account, but what you will see if you go to Amazon.com is either you're going to log in to your account or you're going to create an account. Okay, and, um, and now in order to create an Amazon account, it's free and we're only going to go through the, the simple steps in doing it. So that um, it's not detailed and it's not taking a lot of time because it is very important that um, we don't waste a lot of time on getting through this. So I actually just want to go to Amazon. The Amazon uh, dot com right now just to just to show you and um, it has taken me back into my account again. So I'm going to um, need to actually log out of this account just to show you. giving me a hard time about logging out. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, instead of uh, logging out of this account, I just want you to go to the uh, Amazon.com and where it says to, to log in, log in, or to create an account, to, to put all your information in there, to use your new Gmail that you just created, or your Amazon account, to put that information in there. And um, you will receive um, a confirmation email from Amazon. Okay, and um, I don't know if I actually um, have it in here someplace, but I could show it to you because I don't want to create another Amazon account. It'll just say welcome to Amazon. It'll have some information for you uh, that um, you need to, to have in in order to uh, log into your new account and then once you're in your account you'll just fill in a little bit of information and if you're already um, an associate then you, you don't have to if you're not then you go down here to where it says Amazon Associates and you click into there Okay, this is what it's going to look like, actually, if you want to become an associate. If you've already logged on, uh, logged in, then you're okay. But here is where it, it says join for free. So, so sorry for being a, a little confusing. Okay, and then um, you, you'll have that information there. And then you just uh, make sure you're signed in. Okay, so it'll have a bar that's on the top here, and it'll say account information, website, and mobile app list, profile, 
identity verification and start using the Amazon uh, the Associates Central. Okay, you need to go through all of these steps. You need to fill this information out. It's not going to ask you for any type of uh, payment or anything else like that, but you do need to fill this information out because it is important. So now getting back here into the um, account. Okay, so once that's all filled out and now you're starting your um, Amazon account, I want you to go to um, today's deals. And it's going to give you a list of um, things that are actually selling today. Deals of the day, like for instance, here's a Kleenex Professional Antiviral Facial Tissues. Okay, so say I want to have a look at that and I want to offer this to people to buy it to save money for them. I just need to find it again. There we go. Okay, I'm going to click on uh, CG details. And as you see, it took me into some place where it's not where I wanted to go. This is just a new mouse, and I'm just getting used to it, so. I'm sorry about that. I apologize for that. That just getting used to this new mouse. I'm just looking here. Okay, so I actually oops. I actually do want to Okay, say I want this, uh, I want to have a look at this uh, sanitizer. So, I'll just click right in here, right on the picture. And, and um, you should see the information come up. And it usually has some, some uh, good information that you're looking for and my mouse is jumping all over the place here okay but what I'm looking for is two things one thing I'm looking for is number one is that have you signed into your Pinterest account that's really important you need to sign into your Pinterest account it needs to be opened so take a minute and open your Pinterest account while I just click into this um, a little box here that says save. Now that's going to open my Pinterest account up. Now I've already created a board for putting my uh, products that I am going to be um, offering people from Amazon. And I believe it's either called features of the day or products of the day. So I'm just looking for that board right now. I have, a num I have many boards. Actually, it's called Featured Deals. I'm just going to save that in my board. Okay. Now, where it says See It Now, you're going to go click there, See It Now. So now this is now going to open up into a 
window, so don't be surprised you haven't lost anything. It's just Pinterest opening up into a new window. So you can actually have a look at, at this pin and where it has this little pencil here. Just click into that because you want to edit the pin. Okay, now here where you see this information here, I want you to go back to your Amazon account, okay, and make sure that you are on a separate tab. If you click back and you go into your Amazon account, then you will get confused and not be able to get back to your Pinterest account. Go into your Amazon account and up on the sorry I'm just looking for it here I'm looking for the um, information that I need to get the the link. I have done this one before and um, 